Well, joining us in studio is Acting Provincial Administration and Internal Security Minister, also, of course, Defence Minister. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Bona Yusuf Haji. Waziri, uh, some very uh, harsh words there for mm -hmm. you, saying you have vested interests, and we're going to come to that mm -hmm. in just a moment. But let's start with the Tana Delta situation itself. Mm -hmm. uh, Kenyans have watched in shock and horror as the conflict escalated, wondering at every point, where is government and perhaps why is it approaching this with such caution? Mm -hmm. Waziri, where are we now? KDF now gone in, but why did it take so long to get critical action and how can we ensure as an election is coming up mm -hmm. that this does not happen again? Thank you very much. Uh, first and foremost, uh, <clears throat> we are really saddened by the loss of life and the manner in which uh, it happened in Tana River. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> we, I want to send our condolences to the bereaved families and wish those who have in injuries a quick recovery. The government also is saddened by this situation. But the fact <coughs> remains that uh, the government is doing everything possible to deal with the situation that has risen uh, in Tana River. From the beginning, um, <clears throat> I know that people are saying that the government was uh, not up to the task. Admittedly, the officers of the area where this thing happened uh, were not able really to perceive uh, and, and, and engage uh, the uh, magnitude of, of, of the issue that was, was at hand. And this can be uh, said to be so because if the local leaders are not prepared to give the information that uh, people are about to fight over any issue, if the chiefs who are the local chiefs uh, become partisan and they're not passing the information to the authorities, um, if unfortunately the, uh, um, the security group elders, uh, the peace elders who have been established all over the country, are not also passing that information. They are not angels to know that a neighbor will turn against another neighbor. But when this was realized, we sent 265 uh, administration police, GSU, and regular police. Again, unfortunately, maybe they did not do a proper plan on the extent, the extent of, 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 the, of the situation. L let me come yes. in here mm -hmm. with you, because mm -hmm. who is bold enough yes. to kill our security officers, yes, right. to continue to march around the Tana mm -hmm. Delta mm -hmm. area, yeah. brazenly mm -hmm. bringing you know, whole villages down yes. uh, in flames? Who, mm -hmm. who is, this? is this political? Actually, this is very puzzling. Uh, it also shocks everybody. You cannot rule out politics. Why? because these people have lived and coexisted mm -hmm. since the world was created. And uh, always there has been conflict between farmers and the pastoralists, because if a, f a pastoralist takes his cows uh, or goats to the, to the river, these are animals they may stray and eat some crop. But in normal circumstances, the farmer will detain those animals, mm -hmm. and uh, the owner will come with some elders, they will uh, assess, the damage and pay compensation and the matter is sorted out that way. They do not way. kill each other. They don't actually, kill each other. They let, don't. Let me come to the accusations mm. made there by, yes. by civil society. Yes. Let's address those. How do you respond to what they're saying? Well, uh, politics is there, yes, but uh, we have to investigate and, 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 and find out who are these people who are really making these people fight because it's, it's not something normal that hunted people can be killed. And also 180 head of cows are just slaughtered and nobody eats them. It's very strange. Civil society claims that this is about the, the commercial interest. They say you are a major cattle herder in the area. H how do you respond to that? Well, uh, this is where I would say that uh, it's unfortunate that Kenyans are become, becoming uh, a group of uh, people who uh, react on issues in a mob just a kind of thing. In the first place, my cows are not in that area. And this can be verified from anybody, including government authority, both in my constituency and also in the upper sector where people are killing each other. My cows are in Malindi, 
in a place called Galana, Galana Range. So for anybody to claim that my cows are there and we are fighting, first of all, my people are not fighting. I'm not a Norma and I'm not a Pokobo. And uh, further, I don't even border the Ormas. I do border the Pokobos, mm -hmm. and particularly Honorable Godana. But there's no problem between us. As, as late as on 7, the, his people uh, hacked one of my people from constituency to death. And, um, and uh, because I knew people would react during the burial, uh, for the first time in the history of the country, I sent the GSU there to contain the situation. Okay. Let's, let's address now mm. the way forward because peace, as leaders, peace must be established mm. by yourselves. Yes. I, I know at one point Godana refused to attend yes. a peace meeting, yes. but we expect leadership to mm. be involved in peace. As the Minister for Internal Security acting, you mm. represent all Kenyans yes. and therefore imperative that you ensure mm. that all is well. What guarantee can you give the country in mm. terms of peace for Tana River as mm. well mm. as the general election, the wider areas that we're expecting uh, to be uh, maybe possible conflict areas. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. In the first place, I think my responsibility is to safeguard Kenyans, both from external and, and internal mm -hmm. uh, threat. And that is just what I'm doing. Julie, you know that uh, me and my family have been threatened by Al-Shabaab simply because I stand very firm in my belief that uh, religion should not be used to resolve any conflict, particularly the Al-Shabaab and Al-Qaeda, uh, what they are doing uh, in this country and in other parts of this country. So I feel very sad that I'm being accused without being given an opportunity. Would you believe none of the newspapers which, who are writing all these stories have ever asked me, how true is this? If they, if, if they think that they will not want to ask me, there is authority. There's the district commissioner, the OCPD, the intelligent people. Why can somebody take check, check, the, check, facts. check, check the facts? Check the facts. Yes. And, and, and but uh, to answer your question, yes. uh, we have already started working on this, and, and I think we are reaching somewhere. Like today, uh, both the Pocomos and the and the, and the, and the, and the, and the Ormos mm -hmm. were praying together, mm -hmm. uh, and they, they have agreed to resolve their issues amicably and you know, coexist peacefully. We, we need leadership on this, mm -hmm. Waziri, mm -hmm. that's critical, but you've spoken mm -hmm. about Al-Shabaab. That takes us to your other docket, mm -hmm. which is defense. Mm -hmm. And it's nearly a year now since Kenya made the very bold step of going into Somalia. Mm -hmm. um, irrespective of international uh, opinion mm -hmm. and whether international budgets would be mm -hmm. allocated, Kenya mm -hmm. did that. Of course, as a nation, we've supported the Somali peace talks mm -hmm. for a long time. Mm -hmm. This week past, we mm -hmm. just see the country electing the president. its president yeah, right. and some order coming to Somalia. Mm -hmm. uh, give us your thoughts. Uh, we are suffering, though, in a sense, because mm -hmm. of some of the internal mm -hmm. terrorism issues, your own threat. So, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. you, you, in the ministry, you know, what is your assessment a year on mm -hmm. of our move into Thank Somalia? You. Thank you. Well, Kenya Defense Forces are doing extremely well. As a civilized, a democratic nation, we are fighting a very civilized war in the sense that we are liberating so many areas without causing any um, collateral damage to the area where we are liberating. You, as you know, Kismayo is, is, is a big town, big city, and uh, we, we will avoid, we are avoiding as much as possible to inflict any damage, a collateral damage, both to human beings and, and properties. And uh, when you are doing that, it will take a bit of time, but I can assure you that uh, longer and sooner or, or later, mm -hmm. uh, Kenya Defense Forces will liberate uh, Kismayo from Al Shabaab. And uh, there are all indications that Al Shabaab are really weakened. And uh, as, as we pursue them, we might even enter Kismayo without any resistance. Okay, so it certainly has been a very civil war. If, yeah. if there is any war of that yeah. kind, mm -hmm. we've watched the KDF, yeah, we've right. been embedded. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for joining us. I think the big challenge now for uh, Waziri mm -hmm. is the internal security mm -hmm. issues, mm -hmm. and the country is watching and hoping for the best, mm -hmm. and certainly will be watching this developing story yeah, in right. Tana River. Thank you for joining us.